The biodiversity branch of the UN in its latest red list of threatened species says 10% of all marine life is at risk of extinction. A UN summit on nature says efforts are required quickly to halt and try and reverse habitat loss. Ian Jin reports. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has sounded the alarm over the devastation that climate change is having on marine life. At the Convention on Biological Diversity held in Montreal, the United Nations body said nearly one-tenth of underwater plants and animals is threatened with extinction. The union announced that more than 1,550 of some 17,903 marine plants and animals assessed were on its red list of threatened species, meaning that they are at risk of extinction. These figures are likely just the tip of the iceberg of what may be happening underwater. Head of the IUCN Red List, Craig Hilton Taylor, emphasized that you can't really see what's going on underwater, and such assessments act as a real indicator of what is happening and show that it's not good news. Among the creatures under threat, the IUCN this year gave attention to the dugong, a large and docile marine mammal that lives from the eastern coast of Africa to the western Pacific Ocean. Also called the sea cow, the number of remaining dugong have fallen to fewer than 250 adults in East Africa and fewer than 900 in the French territory of New Caledonia. Also facing threat is the dugong's main food source, seagrass, due to oil and gas exploration and production. And the pillar coral, a Caribbean species, degraded two categories from vulnerable to critically endangered. And many species of abalone, a mollusk sold as high-end food, also face extinction. The chair of the IUCN Species Survival Commission Marine Conservation Committee says the latest announcement of the awful status of these species should shock us into urgent action. Ian Jin, Arirang News.